Tomaso Nation, standing here with the new Tomaso Volo. For those of you that follow us on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Tomaso Bikes, you know that I've spent the whole year riding and racing on this bike. It's one of my favorite bikes in the Tomaso lineup, and let me tell you why. It has everything you need to go on centuries, to race bikes, to just get lost for a few hours, or that quick lunch hour sprint. I love this bike. For starters, it has the SRAM Force Componentry. If you've watched Tour de France, World Championships, and almost any other race lately, you know SRAM has been on top of the podium for the last couple of years. We have the SRAM Force Shifters with carbon levers, and this is a 10 by 2 setup, so you're getting 20 total gears. We have that on our Tommaso TRS aluminum racing bar and stem with one of my favorite bends. Simple bend, very comfortable. Shorter drop, makes the transition quick and easy without overexerting your back and getting you super, super low and uncomfortable. This is one of my favorite bar shapes right here. And that ties into our Tommaso carbon frame. This is a monocoque carbon frame, it's very lightweight. Loves to accelerate, loves to climb, and it really descends well and carves the corners. Takes you to your carbon fork as well. And what's nice about this is a nice, what they call, 12K finish on it. There's different carbon finishes. There's uh, what they call UD, which is um, kind of a black looking. Um, 3K, which is a really tiny weave. And the 12K is kind of a bigger block weave, which I think pops really nice. because. We like the bikes to kind of scream performance, but not overdo it. And I think we hit the target with this one. So on that 12K frame, we decided to add a little pop with a white FSA crank. Now this is a 5034 Gossamer aluminum crank. Uh, it's what they call a compact. Makes the uh, mountains a little less steep. So that's why I like it, especially around hilly places, uh, mountainous places like Colorado and other places I've ridden. Uh, the 5034 really comes in handy. It's actually been the go-to gear for the last couple of years for the majority of riders. So this year, if, if you're not in the Tour de France, you'd probably enjoy a 5034 chainring up front. That's paired up with a 1226 cassette in the back, which is a nice gear range. Like I said, can take you just about anywhere. Um, I was lucky enough this year to ride, of course, in Colorado, Illinois, Indiana, California, and even got over to France. Use the same gearing on the bike the whole time to climb up the steepest mountains in Europe and some of the biggest mountains here in Colorado. Just a great gear choice. SRAM Force rear derailleur and then SRAM Force front derailleur. Stuff just works. Um, one click of the shifter, everything actuates. Nice, clean, crisp. You know you've changed gears. Uh, really happy with the whole SRAM setup on this bike. New for this year is we went to the uh, Mavic Axiom Silver Wheels. Last year we had black, wanted to update the look. We like the silver. The hubs actually have a nice chrome pop to them. So they're 20 spoke wheels, really low spoke count, less revolving weight. Solid, solid wheels. They will just last forever. Uh, nice machine braking surface, great control. They don't heat up, they don't give you brake fade. Every, they just perform and perform. And of course, Mavic's been in the game forever. We have uh, Tektro brake calipers with a replaceable cartridge pad. So in time, if you start wearing down your brake pads, you don't need to run to the shop and have somebody do that for you. Just a quick removal of the lock pin here, little bolt. Pull the old pads out, slide the new ones in, and your brakes would be actually adjusted right where they were when you got the bike. So it's a real easy fix. Like I said, one less trip to the bike shop. Bring all this together is our Tommaso 318 aluminum seat post to our Newly designed TRS racing saddle. Uh, once again, one of my favorite saddles. I have it on a few of my bikes, uh, my commuter bike and my race bike. Um, once you find a saddle shape and feel you like, you stick with it. We did. We've got a lot of great reviews on this saddle, on this whole bike. It was a huge success last year. And with a few of the new added features, I think it would be a huge success this year. This is the Tommaso Volo, and it definitely deserves a look from you.